Today is the deadline of the six month multicellular challenge. Let's take a one minute look at a demo to get started. most recent one uh, actually gives birth in that variation. So how did I do? Uh, this was the goals for this time. Uh, mix slash, MC slash lives and reproduces. Yeah, well, that's kind of what we just saw. Also supposed to have MC backslash or little die. In other words, another species failed at that. Schedule for the rest of 2023 also kind of failed at that. Uh, gigantic McFun. I, I did pretty well at that. I want to talk about it a little bit. All right. So here is the overall six month schedule. Uh, um, we did pretty well. Uh, coordinated movements still not really there. And the school pageant, the multicellular menagerie, didn't make that either. Uh, um, I'm going to break with tradition and give the goals for next month here now because according to the official plan there might not even have been another tea tuesday after this one today but there's going to be at least one more august 1st multicellular challenge t plus one uh and the first goal is uh to have multiple species of multicellular not just mc sledge but one or two others as well, running on the T2 matrix. Now, that may be uh, that they're running on individual simulations. That might be fine. It may be a, uh, you know, Elon Zuckerberg cage match of all of them. I don't know. Uh, uh, also, the A-Life conference is going to be the end of July, so let's have a successful talk there. Uh, uh, and I want to have a new video out on the Dave Ackley channel, something a little bit more approachable to <laughs> to more people than this extremely esoteric stuff that uh, I thank so much uh, the you know folks that managed to come in and find some value in it. And I want to have fun, not just big fun, I want to have fun every day. We'll see how I do. All right, that's results and goals. So, cool new stuff. Um, Bilayer membrane on T2 matrix. What does that mean? Well, in in the Discord, there there's somebody named uh, Sergey uh, S H. Uh, in my mind, it's uh, Sergey Shell uh, um, that has done a bunch of really useful work uh, on the Ulan compiler directly, as well as uh, rebuilding bond mechanics that existed way back when, early before Ulan. Uh, he's now re he. I don't even know if it's a he. Sergey has recreated. Yeah, um, <clears throat> and uh, he put up a, a YouTube video of a bunch of them working, and for one reason or another, the T2 matrix was not running anything else, so I was like, well, you know, let's get this thing going on the T2 matrix and see what it looks like. I'm always thrilled to get uh, stuff from other folks, so let's take a quick look. Now, it's a, a little bit hard to see this. Uh, this is about two days worth of stuff going by in, you know, a minute or whatever. Uh, but it's very interesting because, you know, they start out as these sort of square things, but then they gradually condense. And in fact, it makes kind of like a multicellular <laughs> organism, just in a very natural, organic way. Uh, it, it, they sort of cluster into specific T2 tiles, kind of in the... So the blinking oh. light means uh, power is out again from PNM. So 
we're not sure how much time we've got left on yeah and we didn't have much time left <clears throat> the power came back on about one minute after the ups failed on the t2 tile uh matrix so we need to get some beefier backup if uh, uh things are going to keep going with the electrical supply we've had several outages uh, uh, it was a little difficult to see what was going on there so so here this is the bilayer membrane that you can see the sort of ladder shapes that are formed that, that it starts out as a single one but it gradually assembles into a multi-layer one and you can see that there's like bilayer membranes going through the middle of this thing because that's actually two cell membranes uh, that have made a multicellular <laughs> organism uh, uh, so very cool uh, thank you Sergey for all that you've done uh, uh, stream deck uh, now you know there is this product the stream deck that all the cool kids use uh for their live streams so that they can switch between things uh, uh and like so many of these things the manufacturer doesn't support linux uh and also like so many of these things the community steps up and does it itself so timothy crosley had this great stuff software called stream deck ui that i used uh a lot uh for i don't know however long since i've had a stream deck it's got all kinds of features. It's really great. It just had one thing that drove me crazy. Uh, you can do anything you want at the press of a button, but what you can't do is anything at the release of a button. So if you want to have something that happens just while the button's down and then automatically stops when you let go, Stream Deck UI is really not your pick. So after the last T Tuesday update, I took a week and I made Stream Deck. <laughs> Uh, made one of my own versions that uh, controls the Stream Deck initially just to get the, the feature of being able to program the release of the buttons. Uh, um, and so now we've got it. Uh, you know, there's this uh, 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 text file format that you can describe. It's basically a hierarchical window manager uh, uh, that you can do with nested stuff, uh, except at the bottom, instead of it being pixels, there's buttons. And it's here. It's working. Uh, uh, here it is. Uh, uh, we can we can switch around, uh, um, and it works great. And the hierarchical window manager means we can like overlay uh, uh, segments of buttons even across. See, I have two. Uh, <laughs> I have uh, two Stream Deck controllers. Uh, this is the uh, one of the original ones. This is the Mark II. But it all comes out to the same thing. Uh, and we can do all of this stuff. And it works great. And of course, uh, finally have the uh, ability to do momentary pop-ups. So when somebody does says something aggravating or whatever, I have my fully operational meme cannons that I can fire away <laughs> uh, uh, with, uh, you know, uh, del snark deliveries. So uh, that was a lot of fun. I, I actually have a little bit more plans to do. On it, and I want to be able to use this uh, for the some of the videos for the Dave Ackley channel. So that was okay. Cool stuff. And then, of course, the main event is the challenge it was completed with certain asterisks and so forth. You know, I mentioned I showed all these last uh, update, but I didn't actually talk about them. But they're all real problems, and I dealt with a lot of them. <laughs> Not all of them. Uh, um, in the in the in the month that has just passed uh so you know body control all of this stuff is better is better is better and the fact that these things are better is why that opening demo actually got as far as it did uh, um and you know I don't, I don't like to toot my own horn but you know one of the reviewers of the a life paper uh was was kind of trying to diss the paper by saying it was like almost just a tech report, you know, which is fighting words to scientists because they want to do eternal truths and great verities. And so being a mere tech report is to uh, uh, to be snide about it. But, you know, thinking about it, my response is, you know, yeah, but you've never seen tech like this.
this. Uh, uh, <laughs> this is you know, so cool stuff. So what I'm claiming here is that we now have these multicellular diamond organisms in a non-deterministic, indefinitely scalable cellular automata that just demonstrates homeostasis, growth and healing, program controlled cell replication and differentiation. That's all new. Multicellular organism morphogenesis, building a multicellular shape, doing coordinated cell division growth and movement. We just saw all that. <laughs> but we'll, we'll see what the rest of the world thinks. <sighs> uh, uh, okay. Uh, here we are. Here's a two version. So each MC slash here wants to have two kids rather than one. This just started running on the uh, matrix after the power outage took out the bilayer membranes. The theme song here. And so this is off to a great start, uh, and we will see August 1st how well all this turns out, um, as well as other species and so on and so forth. But this this is absolutely from just this morning. Uh, uh, we've got the original ancestor. Oh, the original ancestor just had its second kid. So now this is mature, and it's, it's just going to try to go walk about while the other ones, of course, they're going to clog it all up so there's no place to go. Uh, uh, so far, so good. We'll see. We'll see how long the power lasts as well. All right. Uh, um, the cheat report. Cannot end, uh, uh, you know, there is a ton of stuff about this that I don't like that is not like real biology. Uh, probably top on my list is that the body plan that governs the shape of all of this stuff is almost all part of the physics uh, uh, down coded directly in Ulam rather than being part of the biology, meaning being part of the program loop that could, in principle, evolve even though the physics is fixed. Uh, the body model is a single atom instead of a com more complex chain capable of carrying more information and variations. Kind of the same thing. The uh, MC slash, the pair of them, they do not move very fast. They basically don't move any faster than they would if they were two individual diamonds that one was kind of jostling the other one. And they die alone and one of the hallmarks of being an organism is you have shared fate. The uh, organism travels together, the organism dies together. Uh, uh, and there are still uh, de deadlocks. Now, you know, all of this was disappointing. I didn't want to ha have that, and I tried to fix as much as I could. But in fact, one of the reasons it took so many months to get to this thing was because I was trying to avoid these cheats. For three months anyway, I think, the body model was a whole little loop of four atoms that was supposed to be more configurable, more flexible, and so forth. I could never figure out how to use it. <laughs> I could never get anything going. And finally, because it was now down to do or die, uh, uh, I just said, let's simplify it. Let's just put it in the physics. We'll understand what it is, and we'll figure out how to make it more flexible later. And that's what made it possible. That's what made it all work. Uh, uh, and so on. I have ideas how to, to address the speed motion and, and how to address the, the uh, shared fate uh, that uh, hopefully we will see relatively quickly uh, in the code development for uh, August 1st. Uh, uh, now, you know, I call it the cheat report. <laughs> Uh, you know, folks who read scientific papers, you may say, how come I don't see cheat reports in other papers? And, well, actually you do. It's just they have it under a secret name. Uh. <laughs> so when you read a paper and they start talking about future work, what they're really talking about is the cheat report. So. And here's an example. Uh, this was, we showed it last time. This was the uh, the body model that if you're a cell nut type 2, then you have a 5 tag. And if you're a cell type 3, then you have a 5 tag you want to connect and so forth. That has now gotten even more complex. And there's now even a new little programming language that governs that initial dance. That after the split happens and they go, and then they get together and go, that's the boot code that's running. <sighs> Could it be better? Sure. Will it be better in the future? I hope so. But does it all work? It kind of does. It kind of does. So that's what I had to say today. Back again, here's the goals that we had. Thanks so much for checking it all out. Have a happy 4th of July, whether it's a holiday or not. And I hope to see you next time.